Kia ora, ko Clemi toku ingoa, ko Ranana toku kainga. Hello everybody, this is Clemi ASMR and I'm going to teach you some Te Reo Māori, which is the native language of New Zealand, where I am from. So it might be important to disclaim from the beginning that I am not Māori myself. My parents are English. I moved to New Zealand when I was five years old. I lived there until my early 20s, around 21. Um, and then I moved to the States and I now live in London. So while I am not Māori myself in blood, I consider myself a New Zealander. It's where I grew up um, and I was very fortunate to live in a part of New Zealand, attend school where Te Reo Māori was encouraged and used um, frequently and I picked up on a lot of um, phrases and um, you know, common words that we use in New Zealand that are actually Māori and not a lot of people know that we have a another language or that people speak Māori in New Zealand so today I thought it would be a little fun activity for us to do together for me to teach you some of the most basic terms and if you ever visit New Zealand and you use these, um, I'm sure you'll get a lot of kudos from the locals for being able to say these things. Okay, so let's begin with the most basic kind of um, greetings and the language. So the language consists of five vowel sounds. A, E, E, O, U. Um, there's eight consonants, which are similar to those in English, so um, H, K, M, N, P, R, T, and W. And there are also two different consonants, the W, H, which is like a, f, a F sound, and the N, G, which I will um, put into a word for you to hear later on. Okay. So in terms of Māori words and phrases that are quite common, the first one which I used um, in the start of this video is kia ora, which you might have heard before. Some people um, say it kia ora, which is maybe a more kind of um, basic way of saying it. But the way I say it, the way I got taught to say it, is kia ora. And kia ora means hello, it's a greeting. It can also be used to, you know, say thank you or acknowledge someone. So, um, you know, sometimes if, if someone's done something nice, you might say, oh, kia ora. And that kind of means, you know, thanks or, you know, you're acknowledging that they've done something for you. So that's the first one. Kia ora. Hello. The second phrase is an extension of that, those words, um, which is kia ora tato. And kia ora tato means hello everyone. So that's kind of addressing a larger group of people. So it might be, you know, if someone's standing up in front of a crowd, they might begin their speech by saying Kia ora tato. and that's just what they mean. Um, there's also tēnā koe. So tēnā koe is a greeting to one person and it's only ever said to one person. If you want to greet more than one person, um, you would say tēnā koutou. And that's a pretty common one that you'll hear if you visit New Zealand as a tourist. Um, or you 
you know, for example, visit like a Māori village as part of a cultural experience while you're there, then, then that's something you'll hear. Um, another really common one, especially if you're visiting a marae, or um, which is a meeting house, or um, if you're going to the Māori village in uh, Rotorua, or somewhere, um, you know, one of the popular tourist destinations in New Zealand, then you will hear people say, haere mai. And haere mai just means welcome, it can mean come here. So, um, you know, I remember as a kid in school, the teacher would pretty often say to you, like, haere mai, come here. Um, so that's just what that means. Haere mai, welcome, come here that kind of thing. Uh, no mai is another word for welcome, um, so you might hear that as well, and sometimes they're used together, so sometimes um, if you're visiting someone or you're being welcomed onto a marae or, um, you know, a situation where you're the guest, um, you might hear no mai haere mai, which, which just means welcome. Um, in terms of how you're feeling, you can ask someone uh, how's it going or how are you feeling by saying kei te pehe kwe. Kei te pehe kwe. Now I understand some of these sounds for me, I grew up saying these things, um, but it can take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, if someone says to you kei te pehe kwe, that means, you know, how are you doing, how are you feeling? And you can respond in, you know, all sorts of ways, depending on how you're feeling. Um, but it always starts with um, kei te. So, for example, some of the um, emotions you can use, you could say uh, kei te pai, which means I'm good. Kei te tino pai, which means I'm very good. Um, kei te hoha. I'm bored, um, kei te pauri, I'm sad, um, in terms of the ng sound that I said earlier, so uh, a way that that's used is in the word for tired, um, so nye nye, it's a hard one for me to even say, um, so kei te nye nye is I'm tired, so that's an example of how that kind of sound or, um, you know, combination is used. Um, kei te makariri, there's cold, there's, you know, like in the English language, there's lots of ways to express yourself and describe how you're feeling. Um, to say goodbye, you can say haere ra. Haere ra, similar to haere mai, is just the opposite. So you say haere mai to welcome, you say haere ra, is a goodbye or a, or a farewell. Um, you can also say kaki te ano. Kaki te ano is like, you know, I'll see you later, see you again, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> um, so kaki te ano. Um, okay. So hopefully that was interesting in terms of just some basic words that are used um, in New Zealand, Māori words that are used that you might hear and maybe want to know what they mean. Um, the first one is Aotearoa. So New Zealand has a Māori name as well, obviously, um, not just the English version. So Aotearoa means um, the land of the long white cloud. Um, the reason being that in New Zealand we have quite distinct uh, cloud shapes and I guess the story goes that that's what um, people saw when they first approached the islands and um, that's the name that they gave to it. So Aotearoa means New Zealand. Um, another really common one is Aroha. Aroha means love. So you will, um, you know, hear people use that phrase pretty often, um, or you might see it on uh, signs or, you know, little gifts and things. Um, 
but yeah, Aroha means love or to put love into something. The next one is um, a hangi. So a hangi is a kind of traditional feast or a food that you might have, especially if you go to visit a marae or, um, you know, if there's a porphly or, um, you know, basically if there's just an occasion, an event. And what that consists of is putting food into the ground and kind of steaming it and cooking it under the ground. Um, really delicious. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a really kind of um, traditional way of cooking food. A haka, which I think a lot of people know, um, associate with New Zealand, is the haka or the war dance with the... Um, with the actions, so you'll see our, our New Zealand rugby team, the All Blacks, they do that before they have a rugby game as a way to kind of, um, you know, intimidate and um, tell the other team kind of to prepare themselves. Um, traditionally it was used as a dance before a war. Um, either between tribes or if there was, you know, an outsider approaching. If you actually go and look at the meaning of the haka that the All Blacks use, um, it's pretty intense. <laughs> it's pretty, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty uh, graphic. Um, another one is a hui. A hui is a meeting or a gathering of people. Um, you might also hear iwi, your iwi is your tribe, the tribe that you came from. Um, so each area in New Zealand will have a iwi um, that the people of that area belong to. The one is kai, kai is food. Um, you can also have kai moana because moana is the sea or the ocean. Uh, so that's, you know, seafood. Um, but yeah, kai is it's pretty commonly used and you'll hear people say, you know, oh, I'm really hungry, let's go get some kai. Let's go get some food. Um, a karakia. A karakia is a prayer. Um, you'll often have a karakia before you eat. Um, you'll have a karakia before you um, open a building. You'll have a karakia... Um, you know, if you've lost someone, it's kind of a blessing or a prayer, the same way that you would use it um, in Christianity. Um, a kiwi. A kiwi is our, is our national bird, flightless bird. Um, but it's also how New Zealanders refer to themselves. So you'll hear people say, you know, I'm a kiwi. Uh, I've had people ask me especially when I lived in the States, whether Kiwi was a offensive term. I don't think it is. I've never met anyone that's offended by being called a Kiwi. But, um, yeah, as far as I know, no one gets offended by it. It's a pretty neutral, neutral term. Uh, mahi is work, um, or doing some kind of work. So, you know, people would say, to mahi or I've got too much mahi to do. Um, yeah, that just means work or an activity. Uh, a pakia is a New Zealander who's not Māori. So a New Zealander who is uh, usually European or immigrated from Europe. So I, for example, am a pakia. Um, and yeah, it's just a way to kind of refer to non-Māori New Zealanders. Um, what else do we have? Puku. Your puku is your stomach. Um, one that I use quite a lot is hapu, which is pregnant. So, you know, if I've eaten too much and I look pregnant, I'll say, you know, oh man, I look hapu. Um, taonga. Taonga is like a treasure, anything that's, um, treasured item, so it might be something physical, it might be referring to something kind of non-tangible, but it really just means anything precious. 
Um, what else? The last one is Fano. Fano is your family. So, um, you know, it's your, your brothers and your sisters and your parents. Um, but Fano is also kind of used as a way to refer to other people as well. So, um, I know my mum uses it quite a lot to say, you know, she'll walk in the room with her friends and be like, hello, Fano. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of a nice way to refer to people as your family or your loved ones or like, you know, the special people in your life. Um, okay, so that's all the words that I have. Um, there definitely are a lot more, but I wanted to try and keep it, you know, uh, concise for this one and if you're interested in learning more we could do you know numbers uh, phrases uh, New Zealand slang might be a fun one because I know we have a lot of words um, that are a bit confusing um, but yeah let me know if you liked this video and hopefully you learned something and I will see you next time um, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you for watching.